Hey you guys, so today I am trying a get ready with me for the first time ever and I actually haven't really messed around too much with putting on my makeup while filming so this is really new for me and it might be all over the place and the swatches might not really be right but I wanted to try some new products that I picked up from the weekly wows that Sephora has. Yeah, this like pushed me out of my comfort zone and I hope you still like it even though it's not usually what I'm into. But yeah, if you like this look, just keep on watching. So the first thing I'm going to start with is this like sample sized um, for professional but it's the new one. And it's supposed to have like some type of color. It says pearl pearl primer so who knows we'll see so i'm gonna use the fenty foundation in 150 now this oxidizes on me the issue is that sometimes it doesn't oxidize as much as it's supposed to so sometimes it's weird especially on the neck i don't know if it's just the amount that i put on or what but it's not the greatest of the time anyways um how were you guys' holidays? My Christmas was amazing. I loved it. I had a lot of fun. But I got sick right after. And um, I actually fell asleep early on New Year's Eve. I had an amazing last day of the year. But, like, at 11 p.m. I knocked out. <laughs> so I wasn't able to, like, do the countdown or anything. And you know what? Like, I'm still writing out my resolutions. Is that weird? Um, and I'm thinking of making a video on my resolutions, but I don't know if it's just too late now because it's been a week But it's always nice to share your goals with people, you know, like it's good to like put them out there into the world and I work 12-hour shifts, so Four days a week and that shit is crazy. Like I'm not gonna lie. I feel like my I feel like my makeup is going to waste. I don't wear makeup every day now I just wear makeup when I'm not at work and I'm it's kind of irritating because makeup is expensive and I I've been investing a lot lately but what am I gonna do quit my job just because I can't wear makeup no I can't do that I need to pay the bills I'm actually supposed to be looking for new jobs but because the one I'm at isn't gonna last forever it's just a few more months but you know how it is like you start getting comfortable you start getting like complacent and you don't like start you don't like hustle as much as you're supposed to i don't think i've told you guys i got my degree ah oh, it was so amazing i almost cried but you know what it was a tiny ass paper like i thought it was gonna be big but it wasn't it was um like the piece like the size of a piece of binder paper but it was oh, so beautiful. And it's just, you know, it was five years of really hard work. My parents sacrificed a lot just to give us the opportunity to go to school. And I ended up getting a full ride at Berkeley. So it was amazing. Like, I still have loans because I stayed that fifth year. But it, I would do it again. Last week, um, I picked up these. And they are really pretty. They're the new uh, Sephora brushes. And, like, this year, I feel like they're really into the purple and, like, just a chrome purple look. So I'm going to be using these. We'll see how they work. I feel like the fan brush will be good, but the other ones won't. I had been looking at the Subculture um, palette by Anastasia Beverly Hills. And I've heard a lot of bad things because there's a lot of fallout. But I still thought the colors were beautiful and I wanted to try them. So then last week, it went on the Weekly Wows. I'm going to use my e.l.f. crease brush. And this is only three bucks, but I love it. This one's the one that's a little thicker or denser, whatever you want to call it, than the, my other one. I will start with Dawn and Mercury just to um, get the outside crease going. You might not be good at doing makeup. Like, it doesn't matter. But if you blend your shit, eventually you will figure it out. And you know what I've noticed? That the employees at Sephora have nice makeup, yes. But it's the employees at MAC that really blow me away with their makeup. It's just blended to the gods. It's beautiful. So I'm going to go in with Axis and we'll see what happens. I'm going to try one of the Sephora brushes. Please don't let this be a disaster because I feel like I can still get a good look with what I have going on. But who knows? What do you guys think? I feel like it's coming out a lot darker than I thought it would. 
I feel like all YouTube gurus just say that though. Uh, like I'm going for a natural look, but then they end up with like a big ass glam. I never do this, but I've noticed that some girls do it on YouTube and it kind of makes sense now that, now that I applied this color and this shit is like crazy intense. I haven't heard people talk about Adorn in this palette, but it is amazing. Like, it is very, um, um, soft. And look at that shit. That is amazing. So we'll see if we can make this more of an Erna look. I've actually never put glitter on my eyes. And this is as close as I've ever been, I think. This is really pretty. I really, really like it. I don't know if I killed it with that blue, but I like this. Basically, what I do is I grab a powder, and I that's how I set my eyes. Now, I do have setting powder from Kat Von D, but that gives me a lot of flashback. I'm going to grab one of the Sephora brushes and this is complexion so I basically just go and put a little powder in these areas anyways I wanted to talk to you guys about drama at work I feel like that it's so unnecessary to have drama at work because you know you're there to hustle you're there to like make a living and um pay your bills and whatnot but where I'm working, it's a construction site. I've never worked something like that. When I went, when I started with the company, I started as a receptionist, and that's not what I applied for. I applied to be a security guard just so that I could have really flexible hours and whatnot. But I really enjoyed it in the beginning. I did realize that I was in the cheese man hardcore, but then it started biting me in the ass. Like you need to be careful, especially when you work with the same people over and over again. Um, Cheeseman will get out of hand. We're gonna go with Hot Mama by The Bomb. And I actually picked this up last year when one of my favorite YouTubers, Kathleen Light, was like, this is like orgasm by NARS, but with less glitter chunks. So anyways, back to the drama at work. Um, I think what I need to do is just stay in my lane, you know, like, there's an issue with the guy, too, and he's being so immature. He's a grown man. This is my thing. If you're grown, like, if you're, like, 19 and under, you, you still have growing to do. You know, you still have to learn how to work with people in a professional manner and how to just be a good human being. Mind you, I'm not saying that if you're under that age, you're not a good human being. I'm just saying that you still have a lot of learning to do. Well, this guy's 25, and... It's just been a little uncomfortable at work because he totally ignores me after we had like a falling out. I'm just going to ignore it. Like one of my girls told me, um, you don't mix work with pleasure. And that's how I started off at that work. Like I wasn't going to do anything with anyone at all. But things got a little out of hand. And I think what I'm going to do now is just stay in my lane. You know, if I get to work on time, I don't go over my breaks. I like just do my job. I should be fine. Like there shouldn't be a problem. So that's what I'm going to do, um, and that's what I recommend y'all do if you have drama at work because it's just not good for you or for the team if people are talking and it's malicious and it's it's uncomfortable or whatever. Like, I just, as long as things are being followed, like, by law, like, I get my breaks, I get, like, my schedule right and everything, like, I will be good. I'm not going to be complaining anymore. I'm not going to be involved in the cheese man anymore. Hell no. This is why I got my family and my friends outside of work. Never thought I would say this, but maybe I'm going to not be cheesemeando as much as I usually do because it's not it's not good for me. It's not good. So I'm going to do my eyeliner real quick. And this is just a sample size. It's the, yeah, it's Troublemaker. So we'll see how this works. I'm not going to put on any eyelashes today. But anyways, back to like the whole drama stuff. Um... When people are passive aggressive with you or, you know, they're starting drama, yeah, they might not like you, but it might also be that, you know, they're stressed out, they're tired, they have other shit going on. So it's best to just, you know, know how to pick your battles. Like if I'm going to actually have an argument with something and maintain it, it's because I know that 
what we're arguing about is really putting the job or my work at jeopardy it's not just any little thing like don't allow yourself to be petty not at work at least how would it look if someone walks by and you're over here like just talking shit i feel like that's embarrassing that's what i have to say i'm gonna go back with mercury and go down here i don't know why i like doing this i don't know if it makes my eye bigger or what but I like it. I go back with powder, and in this case, I'm using Max um, pressed powder in 836. And I just go in there and kind of brush out a little bit of the concealer, and just so that the eyebrows are a little cleaner. Um, I'll grab the Sephora blush brush and just brush some powder down there whatever I use to bronze my face up I will use the other side of the brush and just kind of add some color right here cuz I'm not trying to have a pasty ass white nose Bam, bam. the last new item that I want to use is this Urban Decay Vice lipstick kit kit and basically it has some matte and some shimmers but I've had this for a bit and I haven't used it look at the brush like the brush it makes this clicky noise and it comes out and I'm gonna use one of the most nude colors so I'm between these two and I think I'm just gonna go with this one which is tame it's giving me good color I don't know if it's gonna last it's definitely more time consuming than putting on lipstick but I think it's pretty all I need now is a little bit of highlight and I will be done. But what I like doing is I, for example, this is one of the benefit samples. What's up? And so I go in and I press this. And if I'm going for a natural look, I just leave it like that. And I feel like that makes it look more like a glow from within type of thing. But since I have a face full of makeup today, this is Soft and Gentle by MAC. And I will just press them on with one of their brushes. This is the 133. Anyways, this is it. This is the look. Um, I feel like my lighting isn't doing it justice, but it is really, really pretty. I like it a lot. I don't recommend the Anastasia palette. palette. I think if, you're, if you love the colors that much and you're willing to work with the the fallout and how powdery they are then okay get it but get it while it's on sale at sephora what i do recommend is the lipstick palette the vice one that's also still on sale at sephora but for the primer the professional one sorry um this little sample one i actually didn't see much of a difference like i don't think my face is glowing that much differently so i don't really recommend it I, mean, I don't recommend the mascara but yeah that was it um this is my first get ready with me so i hope you guys enjoyed it and i hope you have a beautiful day Mwah.